Hello loves, welcome back to Wander Tarot and if you are new, welcome to the channel. I'll be tapping into Gemini's energy for the rest of November 2023 until your next reading. The past couple months I've been doing a current challenge and a current strength and kind of digging, digging dip, deeper into those energies and getting some advice, but I've been playing with this recent spread that I'm kind of digging, so we're gonna stick with that today um, and see what comes out for you. Um, these are all pre-shuffled before each reading and then again on camera. Uh, keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others. The ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Gemini. Please use me as a channel to bring them the messages that are trying to find them. Thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them thus far, and I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we're going to pull three cards upright, nothing off the ground, and then let's dig a little bit deeper and see what Spirit has to say here for you, Gemini. All right. Pretty quick. Two more card spirit for Gemini at this time. All right. Right or reverse, nothing off the ground. Spirit, what else could you give us in regards to what's going on here for Gemini with the Hermit? Thank you. All right, three cards upright, nothing in reverse. Spirit, in regards to the strength. cards upright, nothing in reverse spirit in regards to the star card here for Gemini. And then I'm going to pull one more card to kind of give us a little bit more assistance on that over, overhead, the overall uh, energy in each piece. These can be three pieces of information, three separate messages. They can also be all one. It's going to resonate differently for you guys. All right, Spirit for Gemini for the rest of November. 2023 until their next reading. What card can you give me to assist me with a little bit more on the Hermit here? One card upright, nothing off the ground. Thank you. And with Strength card, thank you. And Spirit with the Star card. One card to assist me with the Star for Gemini. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and dig deep. Dig a little bit deeper before we pull out some advice here. So for your first piece of message here, Gemini, we've got the Hermit with the Nine of Wands. So you seem to be pretty protective here in maybe some, some uh, introverted work, some time alone, some alone time. You're kind of protecting this, this uh, possible vulnerability or space of looking inside the little bit more of information that Spirit wanted to point out was the King of Wands in reverse, the Four of Pentacles, 
and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So again, there is this protective energy that's coming through here. You're protecting some sort of inner knowing It may be a piece of information that could be useful in a leadership position, but for the King of Wands to be in reverse, there's some sort of wanting to keep that secret, but with the Seven of Swords in reverse, it's not necessarily deceptive. It's almost like An inner knowing that's more for yourself here that you are protecting. Let's pull advice for this, see if there's anything anything else that comes through. Because here you see the light that is in this hermit card and you see the light here at the tip of the wand a nine of wands so there's this there's this protection in keeping um some sort of piece of information from your internal world right from something you've realized on your own some sort of inner wisdom kind of keeping to yourself here Spirit, what advice do you have for Gemini in this first piece of message, this first message? One card up right, nothing off the ground, Spirit. You got the page of coins. You may be playing some sort of student here in your own life. Um, for this to be advice, I think Spirit's asking you or reminding you that you don't have to be so um, and something about dropping or lightning, lighting the decreasing the intensity of feeling like there's a risk of giving up this inner wisdom or that somebody might take that from you or that you might lose it. There's some sort of advice here that you don't have to keep such a hard grip and, and, and still be able to maintain it. You can still maintain this information, this inner wisdom, this inner knowing you can still find other ways to protect it here and it be a part of something that you can share without giving away. Spirits remind you here with the page of coins that there is, you know, this opportunity to learn about how to add to your stability in a healthier way here, in a more productive way, more valuable way. Almost like uh, let yourself breathe a little here. Let yourself be almost okay with the sensation of risk, but have an inner knowing and trust that that's not something that can be taken away from you. You have to give it away to lose it. So as long as you don't give it away, Voluntarily, it's, it, it cannot be taken away from you here. On your second piece here, the second piece of information, second message, 
we've got the strength card and the two of cups so you're definitely pulling some some composure here. You're staying strong in some sort of connection. Something that is aligned with you. Something that you feel is aligned with you, but for the strength card to come out there, it might be being challenged right now. It may even be the idea of what this might look like for you, or, or you feeling like you don't have it yet. Having to dig deep in, in not getting upset about it, too upset about it. And the little bit of uh, detail here that Spirit wanted to point out was the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Cups and the Sun. So there's definitely this alignment coming together with others, maybe friends, new friends, the desire to want to create new friends or bring back playfulness into existing friendships here versus trying to recreate an entire vision of what that looks like for you. Maybe some shifting around here. You may be turning down new connections. You may be, this may also represent how much codependency you might have used to put on friendships or relationships. bringing back the trying to tap back into like the natural flow of how to navigate friendships and relationships here. Finding it hard to kind of be in a space of realizing when connections do not align with you and that can kind of shake up our, you know, our, our, the new additions of stability here, the new investments we make, it can still be a pretty hard pill to swallow when those don't work out. But for this to be your overall, you're, you're staying in touch with who you are and what feels good to you, where you feel good in connections. Let's pull some advice here and see if there's something else that wants to come out from spirit. here for Gemini here for the second message that's trying to come through for the rest of November until the, the next reading. One card up right nothing off the ground. What advice do you have here for the second message here? We've got the five of coins. The first thing I got from Five of Coins being advice here for this is since strength comes out, 
Usually it's, it doesn't come out unless it's actually being called for and you're having to tap into that. For you to tap into that, that takes history, right? That takes like lessons learned, wisdom, that takes knowing how to manage triggers, that takes knowing what to do next in, in a difficult situation, how to maintain composure. So for Five of Coins to come out as advice here with the surrounding cards, the first thing I notice is kind of like the light that's coming from this window. I think Spirit's asking you to kind of take a look at, focus on um, possibly what part of what part of your current stability, your current idea of stability, your current investments, what part of that safe space shines on you while you are in a space of lack. To do a little homework here in regards to, you know, what first attracts you to particular situations that you invest in that end up not being something that stays. Because strength can be kind of, it can be kind of tiresome, but you're also in your power. So this is a really good energy message. So for advice, if there's any advice that Spirit's going to have, it's just to remind you to kind of continue learning from those types of situations, continue taking in that wisdom. The third message here for you, Gemini, is the star and the seven of wands. So there's a space here, an energy here of being hopeful that you can stay above conflict, a hope to maintain your inner knowing. So that kind of goes together here Just hoping that people don't bring you down, hoping that um, you don't give away enough to lose yourself here because it looks like the star is kind of reflecting on this inner knowing, this space, this independent space. hoping that you can continue to navigate quickly or uh, yeah navigate quickly unexpected situations or conflict that kind of might pop up the details that spirit wanted to point out here was the three of pentacles in reverse the queen of wands in reverse and the two of wands You may be experiencing, this is for some of you, um, this may be for some of you, you may be experiencing a lack of teamwork here, a lack of the ability to feel heard with a Queen of Wands. And since the Queen of Wands is in reverse, it's definitely going to be somebody that's kind of out of their power, somebody that's acting out of their shadow side, and you kind of reevaluating. This may be one of the situations that you're having to leave behind that you had already invested in. That you have to leave behind because it doesn't align with the rest of what you know is you. You are kind of at this, just this observing, this evaluating of what your next step is going to be in, in this situation hoping that you don't lose yourself in that. Let's pull some advice here. Pull 
another card for advice on these other ones. I feel like there's a little bit more that wants to come through. So I'll go ahead and ask Spirit now for two cards upright, nothing off the ground in regards to advice for this third message for Gemini. Power and the six of coins so yeah letting letting this come down letting this tower fall with whoever this is somebody that's not providing you growth somewhere uh, an environment possibly where you don't feel heard and um, moving towards that equal give and take with the six of coins here kind of letting some acknowledging what might be toxic for you here. It's not the devil, but the tower does look pretty unhealthy. It can also mean change. Just a heavy change, a surprise. Maybe you were shocked by some sort of connection here. And you're just trying to maintain that inner knowing, that inner balance. You're trying to stay in your power. So I think Spirit's just reminding you that by leaving, you know, these towers, letting these towers fall, you're going you're gonna to manifest and magnetize towards and call towards you um, the six of coins that equal give and take. Let's pull one more card up, right? Nothing off the ground here with Page of Coins for that first message for Gemini for advice. We got the Death card. That's definitely change as well. So changing some sort of, changing the way that you protect teaching yourself this new way to protect your inner knowings, your inner reflections. And that could that doesn't have to be one thing, that could be just like what you reflect on a daily basis. It could be many things that you reflect on. Spirit, what advice do you have to add to the Five of Coins here for Gemini's second message? One card up, right? Nothing off the ground. The Knight of Swords. kind of looks like this character, this knight is running towards the window with the sword, running towards what is inside, which is warmth, safety, support. So the advice is to allow yourself to continue moving towards those directions, and it is going to take strength to accept or to realize when something that you did want to invest in is not worth your energy. All right, Gemini, that is what I have for you for now, loves. And if you have any questions about the combination of cards or um, any of the images, leave a comment. I would love to hear how this resonates with you. And until next time, loves, you've got this.